Hello and welcome to Blows for the MMA. Assalamu alaikum alara. I'm going off to Dublin, Ireland. What do we know? I'm now in Lisbon, as you can see. And it's a beautiful city. Look at this beautiful view. Um, and I will leave now to Ireland. Oh my god, the light. I will leave now to Ireland, to Dublin, and I would say I see you there. We are here in Dublin, Ireland, and I'm gonna show you guys my hotel room right now. Card works. Yes. Oh, this door is so fucking heavy. I told you guys. Have you done any door I've ever experienced before? This is my room, guys. I'm gonna flip it over and show it to you. Okay, this is the bathroom here. As you can see, quite noise. Quite noise. What do it? I'm only gonna talk in an Irish accent from now on. Look at this. Very noise, very noise. Not too big, but everything you need is in here. Of course, super necessary. The UFC back. Now we're a little bit in a hurry because we will head to the Bellator event in 10 minutes. I just, it's the first time I'm coming to the room now with the luggage and everything. And in like 10 minutes we have to go already again because there's a lot of traffic in the streets of Dublin. And as always, I can't take the camera with me to the event, it's not allowed, so I have to film on my phone. But the videos will be good, trust me. And stay tuned for the videos. And after the fight, of course, also stay tuned because there will be a lot of content coming your way tomorrow. See you there. Be prepared for goosebumps and enjoy Sweet Caroline. Here you can see coach Kevin Act, the coach of Conor McGregor, who went 8-1 this night with his fighters, which is incredible. Leah McCord getting her flawless decision victory. Watch the guy in the white shirt in front of me. He was not agreeing at all, but it was a clear, clear, clear unanimous decision. The most energetic walkout I have ever seen. Unfortunately, Rio Romero did not walk out to his legendary walkout song Soldado by Juan Luis Guerra. ready for a brutal finish and a very interesting kind of uh, celebration. Lay back and enjoy.
Everybody left before Henderson's win was even announced. Bellator Dublin is a wrap. What event it has been. Quick recap here. Um, like when we had it to the event, it was all crazy traffic. So we were late. It should start at 7.30, but we were, we were there at like 7.45 but the event still didn't start, so we had time to buy some memorabilia and look what I fucking bought, man. <sighs> this is a glove with the signatures of Yul Romero, Melvin Manhoef, uh, Qu Peter Query, I hope I say his name right, and uh, Benson Henderson. Some fucking latchets on, 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 on this glove. I'm really proud of it, this will come to the blood room. I mean, the first three fights, all three guys went to sleep. The, the arena went crazy. Also, the hat kick, I mean, the second fight, the hat kick knockout was right in front of me, like cage side, my side. Like, I saw him falling back into, like, into me. You know what I mean? It was really crazy. I never had a knockout that close to me. And overall, a very good event. Many finishes. Most of the fights were really action packed. I mean, oh my god. Joel Romero's. Finish. I mean, Yoel Romero dominated Manhoff the whole fight. He was just too fast for Manhoff. Manhoff couldn't catch him with anything, and the Romero was just playing. I mean, Romero was really playing in there, enjoying his time. The elbows. I thought it was a a T kill a ref stoppage first in the arena, and then I watched the replay. I was like, oh my god, Manhoff went out from the elbows. Insane, insane. And then the main event, Benson Anderson against um, Peter Query. Great fight. Uh, of course, Henderson just did the right thing, what he, what he should do. He fought safe, he fought intelligent, and he fought mixed martial arts. It was a very smart approach of him. He just showed that there's levels to this. I mean, Peter Query, of course, has to knock up power and fought a good fight, showed a lot of heart, but there's just levels to this. Benson Henderson is at a different level, as hard as it may uh, sound. Overall, really nice crowd, I have to say. I liked it much more than the English crowd. It was like same energy, like from the atmosphere was crazy atmosphere but much more positive of course many the wrong people but it was much more of a positive atmosphere there were some fights yes but a positive atmosphere than in england i really loved it Dublin is an amazing city stay tuned the vlog is not over tomorrow we'll go to the black forge in the pub of conor mcgregor we take you to the city we'll see what we'll film we'll see who we'll see i did a picture with the metal i'll show it to you here right now after the last fight i stood up and I walked right past the, uh, right to Romero because I saw him sitting there and security didn't, didn't want to let me through. I went to the security, I was like, hey security, look. I really went to him to his ear, I was like, bro, let me ask him. Let me just ask him if I can take a picture. If he says no, I'll, I'll be away in a second. If he says yes, just this is my dream, please. I've been to Paris for Romero, I've been here for Romero, I haven't got a picture with him. And I went to Romero and because I'm a very smart guy, I told him, I asked him in Spanish, podemos hacer una, una foto? And of course, because I asked him in Spanish, he immediately turned around because he was facing forward to the cage. He turned around and I was like, ah, see, 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 seguro. And then I gave him my phone and he took a picture. This, uh, I, was, I was like this, I swear to God, I was like this after the photos. I've been to two Bellator events, now one UFC event, I have to say both Bellator events were much better organized, much more structured. I'm really impressed always by Bellator's performance. It was great, I'll definitely come back and see you guys tomorrow. I'll go to sleep now, bye bye. Okay, so we're approaching the SBG Ireland right now. We walked, we walked, oh my God, it's close, yeah. We walked more than an hour right now to get here, honestly. We walked more than an hour to get here and we thought we can maybe get in, in there, buy some merch, whatever, film in there. This is number one boot, but at least we got some shots in. This gym where it all started for Connor, the notorious, where Johnny Walker trains in, many guys training here. SBG Ireland. You have to think, you have to think. This is the place, like where I'm standing right now, is where Connor and Tony Walker are standing every day when they're here. I know it maybe sounds not too crazy for it. I'm not a freak, but since I'm an MMA freak, this is really crazy. So sad that we can't get in here. We walked more than an hour here through whole Ireland. We discovered really all the neighborhoods in Ireland. It was very nice, <laughs> but also tiring. 
and unfortunately we have to take the Uber back now. <laughs> See you at the Black Forge Inn tonight. We're here right now at the Black Forge Inn and we'll go in now. Let's see how it looks. Taste in the black Irish stout. I'm probably the most incapable person when it comes to drinking. Very good. Very good. Actually, very good. This is our first starter. This is a uh, bow cheese. Very nice. And this is the tacos of the Black Origin. Now the main course is here. Fish and chips with loaded fries with the rosemary, garlic and um, parmesan. Looks nice man. So you have our dessert. I have a um, chocolate Belgian chocolate cake with uh, hazelnut from or something. And this is uh, the cheesecake. It's amazing. I'm back at my hotel. I will wrap up now the Black Forge experience. At the first, when we came in or tried to come in, it was kind of a weird um, atmosphere because the securities were like very. They gave us like a tense uh, atmosphere, you know what I mean? They asked us, How old are you? We have an ID and stuff. I was like, yeah, I have an ID, but do I look like 16 or what? Um, kind of like not too friendly, but it was alright. And when we came in, we had to wait like three minutes or something until somebody came to seat us and um, yeah the seats we got of course you can't choose them that's all right that's normal but we didn't get the best seats even though I have to say this we reserved the table like two and a half months ago and still we got like a table at the entrance where all time cold air comes in and everything you don't have anything of the experience it was a little bit sad I have to say um, but the staff was very very friendly as soon as like the beginning was over, the, the atmosphere was really nice and the staff was so nice that we asked them, hey, can we maybe sit somewhere else? And it was like, oh, yeah, of course, there's something free now, sit there and stuff. Then we had very nice seats. The starter was the best starter I ever had in my life. No joke, no cap. Um, goat cheese something, I can't even remember it. Main course was fish and chips was very nice, honestly, was good quality. And for the eye, really like, the way the Black Forge you know, prepares the food and makes it look, it's crazy. So nice. The Irish Stout was very good. Definitely better than the Guinness Stout. And fuck the Jameson Brothers. Uh, proper 12th drink. I had like a uh, proper patty. I think patty is a traditional drink here. It's a proper 12th uh, in, in the Black Forge. In. And it was very good as well. Um, very light. The dessert was not my type. I had like a, a, a cake with chocolate and raspberries or something. And that's just my personal taste. I don't like berries with chocolate. I like berries with vanilla, but not with chocolate. So I didn't like it too much. Um, but um, H7, if you know, if you are in my streams, you know him. Uh, the guy was with me, my mod. <laughs> uh, he had the cheesecake and the cheesecake was phenomenal. Really phenomenal, amazing. And yeah, it was really nice evening. Matthew Romero there again. He was so cool, like he gave me a hug. I think he remembered me from yesterday because he approached me in Spanish. I asked him in Spanish yesterday, as I told you, and he approached me in Spanish. He was like, hey, uh, como estas, amigo? And I was like, yeah, todo bien, tú, blah, blah, blah. We just had a little chit chat. And then I took a photo with him. Then he went off to his private room. Had his, he had like a one kilogram tomahawk steak. I never saw a tomahawk steak as big as that, man. I was, I was looking at it like, oh my god, bro, what are you fucking eating? Um, but yeah, you see, if you see Romero, you know why. And Liam McCord also came in. It was very nice as well. I felt very bad because I asked him for a picture because I didn't want to waste her time. So I was just like, hey, can I take a picture with you? She was like, hey, how are you and stuff. And I was like, uh, good news because he didn't ask anybody else, how are you? Just me. So I was like. Um, yeah, good and you. Then I felt bad that I didn't ask her myself. That I like just came a hey, can't take a photo. You know what I mean? I felt rude, um, even though I had good intentions. And then we had a little chit chat, really quick. And then we took a photo. Then I went off. It was really, really nice evening, man. Really nice evening. Nice sound. Uh, a little bit of a party after like 10 a.m. Or a little bit of a party in there. Bought this nice hat. Gotcha, fucking hat, love. 
uh, really really good quality I have to say like I don't know if you can see it but it's really really good quality really really good quality uh, I, will, I will wear that proud like the gorilla on my chest and I don't know since I'm in Ireland I, I always have the urge to talk Irish so I only talk in Irish from now on in my vlogs no but um, I love this country man really I, I, I feel like kind of connected I don't know uh, my sister once did a DNA test, this is insider information, my sister did the DNA, DNA test a few months ago and it was like 30% Irish and I really feel kind of connected to this country man, I don't, I don't know, I feel like at home here in Dublin. I'll uh, show the bill here, it was a really good price, I don't know how, it depends on which country you live in, but for me as a Swiss guy, in Switzerland this meal, especially with this kind of cuisine, like this level of cuisine, because this was really high, high level, would have been at least 250 bucks so it was really good price uh, and i gave them some some nice tips as well because they did really good service and yeah i'll definitely come back and hopefully meet connor there next time i think this was it for the vlog guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, i'll fly back to switzerland tomorrow i don't think we can visit too many nice things that are may related here tomorrow so uh, i think that's it Thanks so much for watching guys, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, uh, comment down below which, which event should I go next, Belcher somewhere, UFC somewhere, comment down below guys. Is this is Connor in his Bugatti, what the f*** is that, uh, <laughs> eat your vegetable guys, eat your vegetables and stay safe, see you next time, bye bye, Bloodsport out. Eat your vegetables.